Hello, Michel Juvet. Hello. Like always, at the very last minute, an agreement was reached between the Greek government and the European Union Commission. Is it a win-win agreement? Well, at first reading, it appears as a win-win situation because nobody loses face. Um, Greece remains in the Eurozone and the EU Commission seems to maintain its sort of austerity measures against Greece. But at second readings, um, it appears that probably Mr. Tsipras won something. Why is that? The agreement looks pretty fair to me. It looks fair, but when you look at the letter, it is very vague. There is no clear and precise measures, and it lacks two elements in terms of management. It lacks precise figures, and it lacks deadlines. So mm -hmm. when you, do, you don't have any deadline, and you don't know, you don't say exactly what you want to do, I mean, you cannot manage anything. It's just uh, like that in any company in any country. Do you have any examples? Well, uh, this letter is full of 70 bullet points. Among these 70 bullet points, we have only one giving precise figures. It says we want to reduce ministers from 16 to 10. That's OK. That's nice. But there is no, th nothing very specific on how to attract capital, how to attract investments, how to make the labor market more attractive and interesting. The only thing we know and we hear about the labor market here is that they're going to follow uh, the standards um, of the International Labor Office. I don't know any country who's working this way, so good luck. So Tsipras really obtained what he wanted. He won. Absolutely. He got the financings he needed because he needed a bridge uh, to continue to work. So he was able to convince uh, the EU Commission to get the financing. That's fair, OK. But on the other side, the EU Commission lost something again because every time the EU Commission has to face a deadline, the EU Commission postponed the deadline and make it diff more difficult to get l uh, later. And we have the same example wi with France today. France has, uh, has to reach new objectives and it will reach only in 2017. So they are full of postponement in the EU Commission. So what's next? Well, what's next? Uh, there are two possibilities in Greece. Um, number one, Mr. Tsipras doesn't do anything because he doesn't want to do anything. And then in two or three months, the Germans will come back and say, no, nah, uh, come on, we have to do something. Or Mr. Tsipras wants to do something, but he's not able to do it because his parliament will refuse to do it. And then we're back to point one. Uh, there will be a clash. So in your opinion, what's the solution? There's only one solution now, which will be able to clear everything and clarify things. Uh, the prime minister in Greece, Mr. Tsipras, um, he has to do a referendum with a very clear and, and precise questions. He should ask to his own citizens, do you want to remain in the Eurozone or not? Do you want to follow me or not? If you don't follow me, OK, you're going to be in the Eurozone, but you have to select somebody else. If you follow me, maybe we're, gonna, we're going to be out of the Eurozone with the full consequences. That has to be clear. But that's not easy for a politician. No, that's not easy. But it's a question of management. If you want to manage your country in the midterm with clear mandate, you need to raise this question. Thank you very much, Michel Jouvet. Thank you.